Hello, my name is Peter. Today I thought I'd do an update on the fruit development on my unique pineapple guava. So yeah, this is the unique variety of feijoa, or pineapple guava. Um, it's been a while since I did the last update. Um, but as you can see, the, the fruit has got a little bit larger since the last um, update I did. Um, it has been swelling a little bit. Um, but it has been a very slow development as you can see um, I don't want to touch it because it might just fall off <laughs> but um, I'm hoping it will stay on a little bit longer um, although it is quite late now we're in, getting towards the middle of November so I don't think there's going to be much time left for it to develop uh, but the weather has been fairly mild at the moment it's about 14 degrees Celsius at the moment. So the plant has also been pushing out some new growth as well. Um, and yeah, the unique variety is um, the self-fertile variety. And I think this was actually the first flower that um, opened on this plant. So it was pollinated with its own pollen. Um, I may have also added some pollen from one of the other flowers when it opened as well. But yeah, I'll, um, I will do another update when the fruit eventually falls off. And whether it's ripe or not, I'm going to try it and see what it's like. But I also want to just quickly show you uh, a new pineapple guava variety that I've got today. So this is my latest uh, purchase. This is a, another variety called Gemini. And this is, as you can see, a very good sized plant. Um, it's actually the tallest out of all my pineapple guavas. Um, so yeah, it was a very established plant. Um, probably be ready to be planted on the ground right now actually, but I don't really have the space in my garden to plant anything at the moment. I need to do quite a bit of landscaping as you can see. Um, the garden is basically unchanged from the original uh, whoever owned it before um, so I'm going to have to do quite a lot of changes to put borders proper borders around the garden it's only a little border here and a little one at the back where I have my banana plants there's no other borders on the other side of the garden so I need to sort that out at some point um, yeah it has got a good size trunk to it already it's probably at least about an inch or centimetre and a half, something like that. And yeah, it's a good, I'd say, it's more than a metre in height, probably about 100 and 130 centimetres maybe. I'd have to measure it, but it's definitely a good size um, plant and it's in a seven and a half litre container. So this is um, the fifth named variety of pineapple guava I've got. Um, so I've got Mammoth, Triumph, Apollo, Unique, and now Gemini. And will probably be the last one, for at least for now, because so as far as I can tell, there's only these five varieties available in the UK at the moment. Um, there are other um, others available in other um, nurseries in, in Europe but they're impossible to get hold of now but these five will be more than enough to be uh, getting on with for the time being and I do have a few unnamed varieties as well which um, we could also grow out to see what the fruit develops in the future to see how it um, tastes compared to the named varieties but yeah, the, um, I did repot these other, um, other two, the Mammoth and Triumph. Um, I think also the Apollo got repotted as well. But actually, I don't think I have repotted that one. I think it's, it was already in a slightly larger pot than the, um, than the um, Unique when I got it. But yeah, the Mammoth and Triumph are in the largest pots, can't remember the size, it might be either 10 or 12 litres, 
and then yeah this um, Gemini will definitely need to be um, put in a larger container soon so I'll probably I'm not sure if now is a good time to do that or if I should wait till later in uh, maybe just before spring although these plants don't go completely dormant so I'm not too sure if it matters too much but yeah that's um, the update on the fruit development on my unique pineapple guava and also the new Gemini uh, pineapple guava so thank you all for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I release a new video and I will give you another update um, once this fruit has fully developed um, hopefully it does get a little bit larger but I'm not sure if it will so yeah I'll see you next time